Um, <laughs> do you remember when we went to the uh, Go Red Ball and, and you walked in on Lindsay and me? Rather difficult to forget you were fighting about something. That's right. Go on. Uh, right. Uh, and, and people wrote down their, their uh, secrets and put them in those little heart boxes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You were trying to stop Lindsay from looking at them? Yeah, that's right. That's, no, that's not right. That's not true at all. I, I, I actually was the one that was looking at the secrets. I was trying to find evidence that Lindsay had been faking her insanity to get out of a prison term. That's what I was doing, and I know it was the wrong way to do it, and it was ter I'm terribly ashamed. Well, no. Now, I'm the one at a loss for words. And why wouldn't you be? I myself am deeply embarrassed. I was the co-chair of a charity event. People gave their hard-earned money, and, and, and they were betrayed because their secrets were rummaged through, and not by just some random prankster, but our very own district attorney. You really want to go there, Dorian? I think it warrants an investigation, don't you? Careful what you wish for, since you saw those secrets and dove right in. She was pocketing them like party favors. <laughs> Do you have any proof of that? Yeah. Yeah. I bet with a little persuasion, a lot of tequi tequila, <laughs> Roxanne Balsam, she just opened her mouth and talked a blue street, oh wouldn't she? Oh, God. Roxy's involved oh, oh, in okay, too. Okay. <laughs> Clint. I, 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 oh God, I just need you to understand why I kind of sunk so low. I mean, not that there's any excuse. No, there isn't any. But there's an explanation, okay. I, I truly, I really was motivated in my desire for justice. Nora. Yes? I have a very full plate. I know. I can't afford to get in the middle of this. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to call maintenance. They're going to come clean this up. And then I am going back to work. Okay? All right. Now look, there are plenty of towels in the gym down on the fourth floor. We'll talk about this later, okay? Yeah, we'll talk. No. What is there to talk about? Clint is finally seeing you for what you really are. Dorian, you have no idea what I see. Just towel off. Get out. I still can't believe it. I mean, maybe if she wasn't moving so far away. Halfway across the world. It's so messed up. Like Star and Coles. They belong together. What's going to happen with all their stuff? I mean, Mr. Manny didn't even give them time to pack. Is this... Is this a blanket? So it would kill me if she knew I let you see that. Like you would if she showed me your giraffe collection? Those are collector's <laughs> items. That you kept since you were three. Because they're cute. And hey, remind me, wasn't that big box in your closet with her? Uh, action figures? Um, <clears throat> maybe. And here I was thinking you were so cool. Nope. Total geek. Confession? Uh-oh. Remember in grade school when I used to tease you and I would take your notebook when you weren't looking and show all your weird doodles to Rihanna Philpot? Yeah. You also used to sit behind the assembly and pull my hair and try to pretend it wasn't you. You know I did all that, right? Because you liked me. You liked me. <laughs> no, I thought you were really annoying and I hated you. <laughs> oh, nice. You know, you weren't all hotness back then either, Miss Thing. Oh, please. I totally rocked those braces. No, you didn't. <laughs> oh, that's right. Oh, what? <laughs> Come on. She didn't mean that. She's just angry. Look, you guys have a very special connection. You always have. It'll always be there. I don't know. I really didn't expect that reaction. She's always supported me in the past, no matter what. Even when I didn't deserve it. And now that, now that she thinks I don't love her... I'll, I'll go talk to her. No, no. I should talk to her. I'm so sorry. Why? Because I said that I wouldn't cry, and here I am. I just love you so much. 
Adito. So beautiful. No, I'm not. If you are. And I know you don't think it. And that's what makes you even more beautiful. And that's what I thought the first time I saw you. I mean, at that party, my son and I were so clueless. <sighs> you. I didn't know anyone. I, I was totally out of place. So that's why you followed me across the ground the whole night. No. I you because, well, not only that you were the prettiest girl there, but there's something about you. It's the way you carried yourself. And the things you said, I could tell you're really smart and funny and totally real. The same way I felt about you. Do you know that I had a crush on you before that night? Really? But we didn't even know each other before then. I know, but I saw you in the hallways and stuff, and all of the girls loved you because you were the star of the football team. Hmm. Well, I blew that one. They all pretty much hated me after that. Except for me. Yeah, you were the only one. You were the only one that stood by me for the whole steroid thing. Just like you stood by me when Brittany made that stupid slideshow of me and Halloween. Do you remember when you found me in the rain? <laughs> yeah, I remember thinking in the rain that night that there's no way I could be without you. And I knew, I knew that you would always be there for me. I'm gonna be there for you when I'm gone.